Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and I hope you enjoyed that Wesley Snipes. I was actually, I was actually planning on calling it a tax evasion because obviously Wesley Snipes is going to prison for tax evasion. Because when you evade your taxes, you go to prison. If if that makes any sense at all. But yes, the patch is finally out, and yes, I have some criticisms, and yes, I am partially happy about it in certain areas. But there's a lot that we have to discuss, including. Guys that don't let me pass through and are just total catfish in their tanks and decided to almost crush me. That's that's wonderful. What did you guys know? I know a lot of you are kind of puzzled on to or about which route you should take. An opening route for uh, Rika Harbor, and this is always the best one for me. You go around this set that there's like this gigantic rock and those sets of trees that you have to get around. And then go way around that barrier there. Because if you hit any of those red explosive barrels, you will explode. So... This is definitely the best way to go, and it's usually best to take an ATV because it's a lot more compact and a lot more versatile in its maneuverability. Definitely take it over the Humvee, and of course, the Humvee is made of paper. The, I tell you what, the Humvee cannot withstand anything. It is literally made of paper, and there's there's a reason that they call them coffins on wheels. Their Humvees are just, they're so weak. But yes, finally the patch came out, and... First impressions of the patch, and I hate first impressions because everybody does, everybody does first impressions of everything, but basically my thoughts on the patch is there are some things that were improved, but there were some things that got worse. And the first thing that obviously most of you want to hear about is what I think about the scopes. And obviously I thought that the ACOG scope would, would be a little bit farther back on the rifle. It's actually very far forward. I thought it would be closer to the stock a little bit more. And it's a little bit goofy and... There's a lot of people that have been throwing around the term overpowered and I do not think the M14 nor the G3 is overpowered with optics because I know any time that I go into any close quarter situation in any building, I am I am literally better off taking out my pistol. That is it's complete brutal honesty. I would rather take out I would rather probably use my knife. That's okay, that's an exaggeration, but what I'm trying to emphasize is especially with the 4 times scope the M14 is awful, awful, awful at CQB, just blatantly. And by that token, I really don't think it's overpowered. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is that a lot of you guys don't know this. I mean, I think a, a fair amount of you do, but the M14 and the M1 Garand have the same stats as the QBU-88 and the SVU. And you can easily slap an ACOG on either one of those, and that's the exact same thing as the M14. Apart from, you can only use a sniper class with it, and you can't give yourself ammo. And there may be a little bit of a difference in maybe the recoil in the in the reload time, but this M14 with an ACOG, same damage as the QBU with an ACOG, same damage and damage drop off as the SVU with an ACOG. So it's really not a huge deal in terms of the differences, but well, you could also argue the the other advantage of the M14 is that it has actual crosshairs do you know what I mean by crosshairs uh, hip fire crosshairs if that makes any sense obviously sniper rifles don't have those crosshairs for hip fire and the M14 does but I generally like the M14 a lot more because I can be especially with the assault kit because I can be more cavalier with my ammo and it's really perfect for me but you can definitely tell in this specific game I cut it I cut it up into two parts one was just the first base and then the final three bases in the last section I like to keep it in, in larger chunks instead of jumping around so much but really it is it is wonderful to use this weapon at longer ranges and obviously it suffers at close range so I was basically playing the spawn point as I like to call it and just shooting some catfish in the face and get, getting the tricksters that really think they can still use their AN-94 Avicon and they kind of can it's not as ridiculous as it was and the M60 also took a hit but in general, the patch is very beneficial, and I absolutely laugh in the face of every single trickster running around with a C4, trying to C4 objectives, because it just does so little damage. It takes twice as many sticks as C4, and that is absolutely wonderful. I mean, it's asinine. It's so asinine just looking at people. like You are so asinine for th even thinking about C4ing anymore, because it's going to take you forever. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken... It took, before the patch, it took 12 sticks of C4 without explosive weapon damage to destroy an MCOM and 10 sticks 
with explosive weapon damage. So I believe that goes up to 20 and 24. And what are you doing sitting in the spawn? And that, that's what they would do. And that, obviously you see... You saw me got killed just a while back. If you're going to run all the way around and come and kill me instead of defusing an MCOM, I have just defeated you in so many, so many different ways of the word defeat. Just, if you're going to focus more on getting a revenge kill or a specific kill on one player over the objective, you are officially defeated. I am victorious. Without, without sounding too arrogant or too too forward or overconfident or boastful, you are you are destroyed if you start prioritizing revenge kills over objectives, just blatantly. And so, moral of the story, I definitely like the optic of the the four times on the M14. It's basically just like a mobile sniper rifle as of this point. And the red dot side, I definitely like a little bit more for the close quarters action. But really, if I'm going to use a red dot side, I'm probably going to use probably an assault rifle or an SMG as it is. And beyond that, the G3, I still hate the G3. I know a lot of you guys like the G3, and I, I could give you guys a G3 video if you really want it, but it's just so inaccurate. It's a 20 round clip, pretty inaccurate. It's extremely loud. Um, not that other guns aren't loud, but I'm just not a huge fan of the G3. Slow rate of fire. It's, it's, it's not my perfect weapon, just to be blatantly honest with you. And... In this specific match, it wasn't too difficult to really steamroll over these guys because obviously, like I was talking about in the Valparaiso video, it's just aggression. It's just getting players forward and into the enemy area. It makes everything so much simpler. But the other thing that I wanted to mention is that I don't know if you guys are having, not really lag problems, but one of the real errors of the patch that I identified. Oh, before I go into errors, one more thing that I have to mention, and it's so critical. They fixed white pass. I will now be uploading games on white pass just as much as any other map that I ever have because they set the MCOMs outside of the buildings on the second set of objectives and the third set of objectives so what what that specifically means is obviously the first two sets or the first two MCOMs are not uh, able to be destroyed via destruction 2.0 and then in the, the subsequent two bases on white pass there's only one one of the two on each set is able to be destroyed via destruction 2.0 so that breaks it down to only two of the six on white pass are now able to be destroyed via destruction 2.0 and that is wonderful dice that is just wonderful but but something that was really odd that i noticed today was on Valparaiso i love playing the engineer kit on Valparaiso or no it wasn't Valparaiso excuse me i, I just misspoke it was Isla Anocentes, and there were so many tricksters and so many catfish on Isla Anocentes. We were playing against this clan, it was like this PWN clan, I don't know, we eventually just destroyed them. And like, everybody was like, oh, they're all level 50s, like, oh, we just destroyed this PWN clan, attacking and defending, but they were extremely good at, with this Blackhawk, and they would just, just hover over our spawn and just destroy us. So I was use, obviously using the engineer kit to try to counter this. And every time I shot my Gustav at the helicopter, it didn't, it, like, it didn't, first thing, it didn't really show the trail of the rocket. Like, you, you can see, like, a smoker, it's, it's not a tracer rocket, but you can see approximately where your rocket's going. And you can also see where it hits on the helicopter, because you can see a large explosion. That wasn't happening for some reason. For some reason, I would shoot the rocket. It All I would see would, would just be this black rocket with no smoke, no... No explosive, like, animation about it. It would just be this black... It looked like a black stone going towards a helicopter and just randomly hitting it with no explosion. And I thought that was a little weird. So, basically what I want from you guys is I want you to give me your feedback on the on the new patch, whether you think the M14 or the G3 is overpowered or underpowered or what have you. And also if you're experiencing anything, any kind of glitches or any kind of errors or anything that you don't like... But I can overwhelmingly say everything about this, not everything about this patch, but on the whole, or for the most part, it is it is extremely beneficial to the game, just to, just to say that. And 
it, it wasn't too difficult to really adjust to everyone using the M14, and there's going to be a lot more people using the M14. I don't necessarily think it's some kind of noob cannon, like a like an AN-94, like every catfish is just going to adopt this as their new rifle, but I definitely think there was more balance between the G3 and the M14 than I thought. I thought they were just going to come out and be overpowered rifles, but I guess not. And with the M14, ich bin so grausam. Well, I'm not the best with the M14, but you guys know that I'm quite, quite proficient with it. Und, und das ist alles. Okay, so that's the end of the game. It's going to be your final score here. So yet again, what I want you from you guys is to tell me if you've run into any tricksters or any catfish running around with the M14, or even expanding beyond catfish and carls and and tricksters. Maybe you might just want to tell me whether or not you like the patch or not. Just ja oder nein oder vielleicht und was meinen Sie dazu? Und warum? Oder warum nicht? So until next time, I will see you guys later. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss und bis bald.